Hello friends. Today I will show you how to make an analog clock from scratch. In this tutorial, I will discuss all the programming steps from drawing a circle to display the time in analog format. For this project, you will need an OLED display of 128 by 64 pixels. You might use any other LCD you have because we will write a code that will work on different sizes of LCD displays. Next, I have used Arduino Nano for this project, but you can also use Arduino Uno as well. We will use Arduino IDE for writing the code. Make sure, you must have installed the UAG Lib Graphics library from the library manager. We will use this library to draw lines and circles on the screen. This library has an example sketch, print test. You just open it. This sketch will display, hello world, on the screen. Here is the list of display screens, that the UAG library support. Just find out your LCD display from the list. I have used OLED display of 128 by 64 pixels, with I2C connectivity. You just remove comment of this LCD display. Next, I will delete the rest of the list, to make the project neat and clean. Here is the draw function. It will display, hello world on the screen. This function is called in the loop. It will continuously display the hello world string, on the screen. Anything written in this function, will be display on the screen. So we will use it, to write the code for our analog clock. Next, we will upload the code, to see if it is working fine. The code is uploaded, and here you can see, hello world is printed. It means the project is working fine. Next. Before we draw a clock, we need time. So, we will define some variables to store the hours, minutes, and seconds. We will use the internal timer of the microcontroller to calculate the time. But you might also use an RTC module to get the accurate time. Now we have defined the time. Next, we will define the width and height of the LCD display. My LCD is of 128 by 64 pixels. Next, we will find out how big our clock is going to be. We don't know whether the LCD is in portrait or landscape or if it's square shaped. So we need a code that will run pretty much on any LCD. So, just take the smallest side of the LCD. Our LCD is of 128 by 64 pixels. So the smallest side is 64. No matter which one is the smallest, either the height or width. Just take the side, which one is smaller. And then divide it by 2, to get the half of this value. It will become the radius. We will use this radius value to draw a circle, and everything will stays on screen. Here, I will use the min function. And this function will find out the smallest side. And then we will divide it by 2, to get the half of the side. We will also subtract 1, from the radius, to make sure, everything will visible on screen. Next, we will get the center of the screen, by dividing the width, and the height by 2. Now we have our required data. So, let's draw a circle, which corresponds to the outer boundary of the clock. So I will use, draw circle method of U8G library. I have used the same radius that I have calculated above, so that, the circle will fully visible on the screen. Next, let's draw a tiny circle, right at the center of the screen. It will be the dot, where we will attach the clock hands. We will use the same, but we will give it a radius of 1. Let's test it, to see if we can actually get that working. The code is uploaded, and we have two circles on the screen. It's the beginning of an LCD clock. Next, we will draw the minute ticks. There are 60 minutes in an hour. So, we need to draw 60 little lines around the circle, with the equal angular gap. To calculate the angular gap, we need some maths. We know there are 360 degrees in a circle. And we will divide it by 60, because there are 60 minutes in an hour. 360 by 60 is 6. So, the angular gap is 6 degrees. 
Now we have calculated the angle, and if we draw a line from the center of the circle, with 6 degree, then it will intersect the circle on this point. And this is the point, where we are going to start drawing the line. So we need x and y coordinates of this point. And we will also need the x and y coordinates where the line will end. We can easily calculate the starting coordinates of the line using these formulas. And to calculate the ending coordinates, we will use the same formulas, but we will subtract minus 1 from the radius. If you want to draw a slightly longer line, then you subtract minus 2, and the line becomes a little longer. Next, we will implement it in the code. Here, first we will define some variables for storing the x and y coordinates and angle. Next, move inside the draw function. Here, we will use for loop and we will run it for 60 times. Because we want to draw 60 lines inside the circle. Next, we will calculate the angle and set the angular gap to 6 degree. Next, we will have to convert the angle into radian, because in C++, the sine and the cos functions only accept the angle in radian. Then calculate the x and y coordinates for the starting of the line, using the formula we have discussed before. The same formula will be used, to find out the ending coordinates of the line. We will name the coordinates as x2 and y2. And we will subtract 1 from the radius, to draw a line of 1 pixel long. Now we have the starting and ending coordinates, and we will use these coordinates, to actually draw the line on the display screen. The loop will execute for 60 times, and it will draw 60 lines inside the circle. Here you can see, the minute ticks have been displayed on the screen, and the design looks fine. But if you are not satisfied with it, then you can convert it into these two formats. If you want to convert it to this format, then you just delete the outer boundary of the clock. You can simply do this, by commenting out this line of code. This line is responsible to draw the outer boundary of the clock. And we have commented out, so now the outer circle will not display on the screen. Here you can see the output looks fine and the outer circle has been deleted. Next, if you want the design like this, then you only have to modify just two lines of code. And those lines are here, the x2 and the y2 coordinates. You just delete the minus 1 from the both lines, and the minute ticks will look like dots. Now just upload the code, to test if it is working or not. The code is uploaded and the display looks great. You can use any of these three formats, that you like the most. Next we will draw our ticks. This time we need to draw 12 lines inside the circle. And we will use the same technique, that we have used for minutes. So just copy, and duplicate, for loop, that we have used to draw minute ticks. But this time we will run the loop for 12 times. Because there are 12 hours in an analog clock. Next, we will set the angular gap. If we divide the 360 by 12, then we will get the angular gap of 30 degree. So, we will enter the 30, in the angle field. Next, the hour ticks must be slightly longer, than the minute ticks. So, I will subtract minus 4 from the radius of x2, and y2 coordinates. And the hour lines will become little longer, than the minute ticks. Now you can see, the hour lines have been displayed on the screen perfectly. Next, let's implement the logic, to display the hour digits on our clock. We need digits from 1 to 12, because there are 12 hours in a clock. So we will create an array of 12 characters. And we will store the digits, in this array. Next, let's move inside the draw function. Here right below the hours code, we will add the code for drawing numbers. Here we will use the same formula, that we have used for minutes and hours takes. Here subtract the minus 8 from the radius, so the numbers are display right after the hours takes. Next, we will use draw string function of UAG library, to display the numbers on the given x and y coordinates. 
We will also set a font to display the numbers with some nice format. Let's test it to see if it is actually working or not. The numbers have been displayed, but the order is not correct. So let's correct it. First, we will modify the array of numbers. Here, we will just change the order of the digits to display each digit at correct position. Next, we will also modify the x and y coordinates to make some adjustments. Next, let's upload the code to see the changes. Here you can see the output. The clock is looking much better. Now the clock dial is ready. Next, we will add the clock hands for second, minute, and hours. So let's start with the second hand. We will use the same logic that we have used for drawing minute and hour ticks. So just select and copy the code that we wrote to draw our ticks. Just paste the code before the end of the loop. Next, we have already calculated the angular gap for the seconds. That is 6 degree. So we will multiply the seconds by 6 to calculate the angle. Next, we won't need x1 and y1 coordinates because this time we will draw the line from the center of the screen. So we will use x center and y center variables instead of x1 and y1. Next, we will subtract minus 1 from the radius to draw the line from the center of the screen to the edge of the clock. Next, this should be minus cosine. If we will not change it, then the hand will move in anti-clockwise direction. But we need clockwise direction, so we will change it to minus cosine. Next, replace the x1 to x center and y1 to y center. Now the second hand is ready to start ticking. Let's test it to see if it is ticking or not. Well, we have got a clock with a second hand. And you can see it is ticking perfectly. Next, let's create a minute hand. The same code will be used to draw minute hand that we wrote for second hand. So just duplicate the highlighted code. Then, just replace the second with the minute. Next, set the length of the minute hand. So, we will just subtract 10 from the radius. It will set the minute hand a little bit smaller than the second hand. That's it. Now the code is ready to display the minute hand. Here you can see, the both hands are now visible on the screen. I will just fast forward the video to see the movement of minute hand. So look at the minute hand to test if it is working or not. Next, all we need now is an hour hand. We will use the same code to draw our hand. To calculate the angle, we will multiply hour with 30 degree angular gap. Now remember the hour hand has to move a bit as the minute hand goes around. This way the hour hand will actually get closer to the next hour. Next, we will set the hour hand length to the half of the radius. So we will divide it by 2. This way the hour hand will get smaller than other hands. Now our clock is ready. We will give it one last try by uploading it to Arduino. There we go. The time is 9.30 hour hand on the 9, minute hand on the 30, so the time is 9.30. That's it. The complete code and wiring diagram is available on my GitHub account. I will put the download link in the description. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in another video. Bye.